Wow, look at that. That is a beast. Did I have to go down far? All the way to the bottom of the bed. Nice. Also got some little ones. Smaller ones, but not too small. I just need to get these out really because um Ooh. what's going on with you? Oh he's gnarly. You can stay over there. I need to get these out because I need to use this bed. And these are gonna go to seed, which is fine. But I don't really want them to go to seed. Oh. <gasps> Look at that. Now in all honesty, I sh parsnips are a mare to pull out. Um, you need to get a fork, you need to push up underneath them, you need to sometimes people push down and then twist. Um, but because mine are in a raised bed with lots of loose soil, I can do that. Look at that. <gasps> happy, happy. Oh, he's a tiddler. So, what I'm going to do, tiddler. So, I'm going to take these up to the house and um, just pop them in a bowl of water overnight. Because, to be honest with you, I came down here on the cuff and started messing with my parsnips. <laughs> so I haven't really got the time tonight to actually process them. I call it intuitive gardening. <laughs> Coming down just to have a look at my pretties and end up pulling them up. That one doesn't want to come. I'll leave me. Uh, Another tiddler. I mean, I could leave these to go to seed, but I do have actual seeds I want to use this year, um, and I've got to get them in quick. So I want to square this bed away. It's not usable, really. Square this bed away. Get everything gone. Oh, nice. And uh, then I can quickly sow some more. You can tell that they've been in the ground for a long time because they've got loads of those little teeny tiny roots, little fine ones. If I pulled them up earlier, they wouldn't have so many of them. That one needs a lift. With the little ones, I'm literally just going to clean them and freeze them. Um, oh crap. See, that's what happens if you don't use a fork. Just pull the top off and then you have to go digging. Oh, he's a big one and oh, all. That's why he wouldn't come up. So I can just... Ah, right, I need to get a thing. I have a trug and a tool. I'll just put you there. Oh, that's quite a good spot to put you actually. a big one. Some say push and twist and then it'll come out. Oh yes. Look at that beast. So the push and twist works. Oh, my God, yeah. oh it's like digging for treasure. Oh another lovely one. The soil's a bit thicker back here.
I really did just lob all the seeds in here. To be honest with you, I think I was having a bit of a paddy. Yeah. And then let's get this out. Mum, I don't want no nettles. What I'm going to do with this actually is put it in my in my fertilizer tea bindweed. The problem with having raised beds is bindweed. You do get a hold if you've got bindweed down below and you haven't really thickly mulched. Um, um, it will come up. So as soon as you see it, get it. Just keep pulling and pulling until it's weak and it doesn't come back. Oh, I'll tell you what, this gap I made in my arch is a stroke of genius. Ah, gap, so I can get in there and do all this. Nettles are going in the tea bin. What? Ah, that stuff is hum stinking. Go away, Pidge. Egg and parsnips up to the house. Sorry about the noise. It is hair cutting day today. The lockdown look is no longer acceptable in our house. We've had enough of scruffy kids. <laughs> um, yeah, so I've washed off the majority of the soil and the gook, and I'm gonna leave these beauties to soak overnight because I don't have enough time right now to um, process them and put them away. I've got some beautiful big ones, look at that. Absolutely stunning. So yeah, like I said, I wouldn't go any later than March to harvest your parsnips purely for the fact that when their leaves come back up again that's the second year and in the second year that's when they go to seed so you're running the risk of them getting woody before you can pull them and eat them. I'm going to roast tomorrow because now I have a hankering for roast parsnips. <laughs> Thanks for coming with me today to harvest parsnips, do whatever you do with parsnips. And uh, yeah, hope you're staying safe and I will see you all next time. Bye for now. Oh, dropped you in the mud.